Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today <laughs> as soon as they drop the live stream we already get the new character demo for Charlotte and of course her character preview which we will be checking out in this video although to be fair I guess the live stream did come out like a week later so that's why we're getting all like the new character info on the same day the live stream came out so if you guys are all excited for charlotte's debut make sure you guys hit that like button as well subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you guys don't get caught lacking in 4k and as well as uh you guys don't miss out my latest uploads or whenever i go live on my streams all right well let's get on to it here we go it's only a minute here we go Oh, Sumeru, Liyue. Our liquor design, yo. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Oh, sneak peek of the new area in Fontaine. <laughs> Just her eyebrows funny. I always find her eyebrows funny as fuck. Oh, okay. Bro, she better say in her battle voice line. Caught in 4K. <laughs> People aren't always very Ooh, cool jealous. effect. You know what they say? Lies are soft and malleable, but the truth is sharp and inflexible. That's a lot of cameras. The time has come for your interview. Ready to be a star? Oh, cry in the heat a moment. <laughs> Hard hitting exclusive. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Oh, nice. No? Ooh, I like the ending. No that was nice. I'll read it for you. Okay, all right, all right. That was that was her demo. Now let's go and hop on to her Japanese because I'm really curious to hear what she's like in Japanese. I've never heard of her JP voice, so let's get on to it. Here we go. All righty, let's do this. Oh. I, I like it better. <laughs> it just matches her looks more. It sounds more cute, you know? She just sounds a lot younger compared to the English, I guess. But it matches the look more. Okay, questionable angle there. Oh, so... Oh, I like that cheese. The, um... The camera... Did, um... Numo attack just now. Wow. Imagine getting caught lacking by Charlotte herself. <laughs> I like this part of the music. Mm, 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 mm. Charlie just comes out of nowhere acting like he knows what he's doing. Pointing his finger. I don't know. I love that ending though. Love that ending though with the sax. They're going... Very nice. Alright, well, that is pretty much Charlotte's character demo. I mean, it's very her. Just pretty much getting caught in 4K like usual. So, before we get caught in 4K, why don't we jump into her character preview? Alright, so here is Charlotte's character preview, Lens of Verity. So, we're going to be breaking down whatever they have provided us with her information on her talents and kits. So, let's get on to it. Here we go. Indefatigable reporter of the Steamburger, constantly on the hunt for the truth. Well, so basically, she's just like any other journalist. Not that surprising. And as for her information, so she is Vision of Crow, obviously. Her weapon is Catalyst. Oh my god, I love this emote so much. <laughs> I actually might want that on my server. Speaking of which, join my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, her constellation is Hualina Veritas. Her birthday is on April 10th, so we will get it next year. Her affiliation is obviously the Steambird. Her English voice actress is Maya Aoki Tato, and Japanese voice actress is Waiki Azumi. Okay, so for her little brief info, Charlotte is a crowd character who can deal continuous damage to enemies and heal her party members. Her elemental skill can use to be select targets and deal continuous crowd damage to opponents using Monsieur Verret. Charlotte's elemental burst can restore HP to all party members and creates a news flash field that deals continuous crowd damage to enemies and restore HP to active characters within its AoE. Okay, interesting. For the Ascension Materials Preview, Cryo Ascension Crystals, obviously. These guys you will find a lot in the water, so these are not that hard to find. Uh, you're gonna need the mecha guys, the same as Lynette and Risley, 
and then the same boss material as Raisa as well. For the talents, I believe this is a uh, order. I think I, I'm gonna put a correction in case I'm wrong though, but it should be order. And then for the talent boss material, ooh, question mark. Well, I mean, if you guys have seen my previous video on the live stream update, then you guys may know what it is. But obviously, for those that doesn't, it's a new weekly boss that we'll be getting in the next update. Okay, so moving on to her talents. So starting off with normal attack, cool color capture. So this is what her normal attacks look like. I absolutely love it. I, I think it's genius. Um, I mean, this is exactly what I hope for, for her to actually use her camera. I would have been like, uh, I would have been so lame if she just did re regular generic attacks and never used her camera. At least they went above and beyond with her camera animations and she actually gets to use her camera while attacking. I think it's genius. All right, so anyways, going to her normal attack. Take an aim at a target using Monsieur Verret. Her custom camera, Charlotte performs up to three consecutive attacks, dealing crowd damage. Now, as cool as it looks, uh, I don't think you'll ever use this though, but you know, it's, it's nice to have. That little thing she does at the end of Twirl is her charge attack. So it consumes a fixed amount of stamina. After a moment's preparation, we'll deploy Monsieur Verret to deal AoE cryo damage. It also looks like uh, at certain intervals, upon using a charge attack, Charlotte will cause a Spirit Breath Thorn to descend and pierce opponents, dealing Numa Align cryo AoE cryo damage. So that's really nice. Because um, that means like you don't have to rely on your skill or your burst. You just have to like cast a charge attack periodically and you'll be able to get that Numa Align attack damage. All right, so moving on to the skill. Framing freezing point composition. Using keen instincts of an ace reporter, Charlotte uses her photography skills to produce different effects based on whether the ability is tap or held. So for the tap, takes a snapshot using Monsieur Verret dealing AoE crowd damage to opponents in front of her and applying snappy silhouette to a maximum of five opponents. During this effect duration, it will deal crowd damage to opponents at intervals. Okay, so it's kind of basically very similar to Nahida. So as soon as you just like tap it, you just immediately um, apply to nearby opponents dealing AoE crowd damage. It also seems like it'll tick twice as you can see there, although it looks weaker on the second side. So I'm not sure if that's something to do with like your talents or just like damage multipliers. I'm not really sure about that yet. Um, but yeah, it's at maximum five opponents, so basically the same thing. And again, there's two different type of skill modes, like her tap and held. So again, it's extremely very similar to Nahida. Also, the particle generation is three. So again, we don't know how frequent her skill is, but if it's pretty frequent, then she's going to have some decent um, particle generation there. But if it's like very long, then three is okay. It depends on like her energy cost. Up next is her hold. So framing freeze, point com composition. Using the key instincts of an ace reporter, Charlotte uses her photography skills to produce different effects based on whether the ability is tapped or held. So as you can see, again, very similar to Nahida, except this is kind of a bit extra, a little bit layered. So what's cool about this, well, actually we'll get more into detail with the whole mode in a second. So popping Monsieur Verret's viewfinder open, Charlotte enters a composition mode. During this time, the viewfinder will expand as you hold until you reach a finish your frame state. In this state, Charlotte can move and change direction freely. So what's cool already is that, you know, instead of like, oh, well, uh, just hope that, you know, you don't get knocked out. What's cool is as soon as you see the frame expand like this, she can move anywhere freely. So I'm not sure how flexible she can move, like, you know, if it's all over the place or she can only move one direction, because in this example, she'll just move straight ahead. But still, I like the idea of that. When the hold state ends, Monger Verret will deal crowd damage to all opponents locked on within the viewfinder and apply the same snappy silhouette as tap mode does to them. If you unleash this ability only after reaching finishing frame, you will instead apply focus impression, which lasts longer and deals more damage, although the skill cooldown will be longer. Oh, okay. The composition mode lasts a maximum of 15 seconds, allows a maximum of 5 opponents to be selected. Depends how long the skill cooldown delay is. You might use both, like in case there's a bunch of enemies just right in front of you, all you have to do is just press tap. But in like most case scenario, it just seems like from range and beneficially, it seems like you're gonna be like Nahida. You're gonna be holding her skill most of the times, aim and mark your opponents, dealing AoE crowd damage. We don't know how much you deal, because it seems like she's kind of like a hybrid of a support slash DPS, so Usually for those kind of cases, it tends to be not that great in terms of DPS, but again, we'll find out. All right, and this is her burst called Still Photo Comprehensive Confirmation. So as you can see, just basically flashing and catching all these hill trails in 4K. <laughs> anyway, I've got to stop with the 4K jokes. Condensing ice to create the Steam Burst signature, Charlotte creates a news flash field that will deal AoE crowd damage and restores HP for all nearby party members based on Charlotte's attack. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, uh, I said this earlier in stream that, you know, if she's skilled with attack instead of HP, that would be nice. You don't have to worry about, like, her offensive damage lacking because of stat wise you're building now that she's building attack it'll be a lot better in terms of healing as well as damage so that's nice i like that so far so news flash field when the ability is active monsieur verit will deal crowd damage at the intervals to opponents within his aoe and will continuously restore hp to active characters within his aoe based on charlotte's attack oh okay so i guess 
kind of like Shenhe, you're gonna want to stack up as much attack on her as possible, I guess. Which is again, that's good because like you want to do damage on her anyway. But it doesn't seem like you know she's not gonna be too reliable in terms of sub DPS tier. But again, we'll see though. Uh, for now, it just seems like she's just a decent crowd player and healer. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's her story, and that's pretty much everything. Of course, all these stuff will be linked down in the description below. I guess my overall thoughts for Charlotte, she is going to be something different we haven't seen before. It's not straight up like Layla, who's just a shield, but she's going to be something I don't think we've seen, which is a sub DPS and a healer. Again, I think this will kind of depend on how much damage she does. Although, just looking from the example and reading this the kit as well, I don't think she'll be doing reliable DPS. But then I could always be wrong and she could actually do some crazy damage. But, you know, obviously, from the lately how they've been designing all these 4-star characters, at least like trend-wise, 4-star DPS in general are just not like the greatest DPSs in the game. So, I'm just saying like in general, I think that she'll be okay in terms of DPS. But for utility-wise, this will be questionable until like she comes out in the game. We'll see exactly what team she'll be fitting on. But for now, I mean, there's already like another option for a cryo healer, which is Diona or another cryo shooter, which is Layla or Diona again. So this is kind of like a decent amount of sustained units for a cryo in case you need it. Again, everything I discussed are just more subjective and we just don't really know. Yeah, because she's not in the game. So like damage multipliers and stats, I feel like she will kind of depend on that. But then again, four star characters in general just has a lower base stat. So I wouldn't expect too much in terms of Charlotte's personal DPS. But in terms of utility though, that question hopefully will be answered once she comes out in the game. Well, that's pretty much everything all I got for Charlotte. So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure you guys hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss out my latest uploads or whenever I go live on my streams. And that is everything all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, until next time, stay epic and peace out.